Welcome to our tutorial, Minecraft tutorial on, in this one we're going to talk about navigating and show you a couple of cool tools for going out exploring and being able to come back in one piece. So the first thing is sugarcane. Sugarcane is used to make paper. You put three of them together and you'll get paper like that. You get three pieces of paper for every sugar cane. So I'm going to, I know I'm going to need a lot of it eventually, so I may as well just make it all into paper for now. Alright, so I've got 51 pieces of paper. Now, um, that I'm going to use later on. The real tool that I'm going to make for helping us get around is a compass. For a compass you need, whoops, There, I'm just going to put one in just to make it clear. You need one redstone and four iron ingots all the way around the outside. That'll give you a compass which looks just like this one. And what a compass does, I'll show you how to use a compass real quick. What I like to do is I like to put the compass into my position nine right there. And that way, oh, look at that. Whenever I go out, you can see that the compass turns when I turn. So when I go this way, it turns and it's turning. It's always pointing towards actually my spawning point, the place where I started in the game. So if we wanted to, we could walk out there and get to to the spot where I spawned in. But the point is that my my home is pretty close to that. So if I can just follow the compass and the direction it points, I'll be able to get back to a place where I can actually do something. Um, and find my way home. Now the other thing is that when you take a compass and you put paper around the outside of it you create something called a map. An empty map. Now when you put this empty map into your hand it becomes a usable map and you right mouse click and then I have a map. Look at that. So there I am. You can see I'm the white guy on the very far end there. Okay, that's the direction I'm pointing. If you point down, you can look at your map. It's not a very big map, but it shows you a little bit of the stuff that is around you. Now, you'll also notice that there's a part of it that's not showing, and that's because it's outside of my view right now. Whoops. All right. Now, if I want to expand this map and make it a little bit bigger, whoops, did not mean to do that. Let's, um, there. If I want to expand this map and make it a little bit bigger, what I'll do is I'll put the map in the middle and then I'll put more paper around the outside of it. And that makes this map still centered but a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead. I don't know why I walked outside, but it just feels right if I'm going to be looking at a map there. And that is the circle that I could see before right there. I like that it's got the fences on there. You can kind of see them across the pond right there. You can see them a little bit there, those brown marks. And if I were to walk while holding this, let's Let's go explore a little bit. Actually, you know what? Redstone is really kind of rare and hard to come by. So I'm going to put my redstone back in my safe. I'm going to put my paper back in there as well before I go out exploring. Redstone you find in mines, usually by lava. So it's a little bit tough to find. All right. So what I want to do is I want to go that direction so I can discover what is on the rest of this map. Now you don't have to hold the map in your hand constantly. In fact, it's sort of distracting to hold it in your hand, but ugh, it's not going to be easy to get around. We'll go a different way. Go up this way. But you do have to have it in your hand from time to time. Oh man. 
the mountain is not going to make it easy for us to get up around it. Well, we'll figure a way around. Look at that. A convenient staircase. Alright, I'm going to pull that map out again. Now that I'm up here. Okay, so you see it's expanding just a little bit. If I keep going in that direction, straight, and that, you can kind of point to where you're going. If I keep going straight in that direction, whoops it will continue to expand that map now. I don't want to die while going straight in this direction. But I can climb a tree or two. Ooh, cows. Alright, so now that I'm here, I'm going to again grab that map and it will fill it in what I've seen since the last one. So I can continue to go in that direction. Whoops. And I will fill in this map. So I'm going to go that direction. Notice my compass um, is still pointing the way back. So that's kind of nice. Alright, back to my map. So there's lots of forest, is what that's trying to tell us. Okay, so my map is not my favorite tool. Um, just because it's a little bit of a pain to to actually hold. But it's nice if you find something cool and you can actually sort of remember where it is on their map. Hello cow. Do you know where I need to go? I'm hearing. Maybe I was just hearing the cow walking. It sounded like I was hearing some lava. Alright, I want to show you what happens when you get to the edge of the map. I don't think I'm quite there yet. I'm getting there though. Don't want to fall down into there. Well, it wouldn't hurt to fall into the water, but... Hey, another cow. Lots of cows on this map, on this world. Okay. So I think now I've gotten, hey, a chicken and a cow. Hey, <laughs> this would be a nice area to actually set up shop. Anyway, so you can see there that there's that dot. Oh, of course, it starts raining. Um, now I'm a dot because I'm beyond the edge of the map. Doesn't really tell me much, doesn't help me much, but it just shows me a dot of where I'm supposed to be or where I'm off. I'm off the map on that side. So if I go walking around, I could be a dot off to the north side or the south side or whatever. Um, so again, the map shows me there's a lot of forest behind behind my little keep right there. Okay, Maps will also show neat colors, like if there's lava on the map it will show it um, as long as it's on the surface. Now it is getting dark and I'm pretty far from home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow my compass. I'm going to try and turn the, my compass so that it's forward and I'm going to go I'm actually trying to collect I'm trying to collect some uh, leather so sorry cow for my next tutorial that I'm doing I'm going to want some leather so it's 
actually easier to kill wild cows than to to raise cows so sorry guys oh, speaking of food now I am out at night almost I'm probably going to be attacked by something. And I don't want to be in the woods where I can't run. Alright, making my way home. Again, I'm I am just right now trying to make the compass point towards the origin or point towards home. Oh no. I just heard a zombie. Oh, there you are. Alright, so like I said, I'm just going to follow the compass and keep going. Hopefully I don't come across too many more monsters. It's nice the moon is out. It's not quite as dark as it might be. Oh, look! We recognize that. That's my, that's my sugar field. It's going to go down here. Hopefully, oh, that would, that would hurt. Let's not do that way. There we go. That one's not as bad. I'm trying to safely jump down the mountain. But you saw how I followed the compass. The compass is not going to lead to my hole in the ground here. It's going to lead back to over there where I spawned in. But that's one, again, one way. And sugar, I didn't explain where sugar came from. This is my sugar field that I built here. And with sugar you just chop off the top. And the rest you leave planted. Oh! I've got a zombie. Stay out of my sugar. Alright. So that is our tutorial. Oh man, someone's... Where are you? There you are. Two can play at that game. All right, so that's our tutorial on navigation, creating, creating a compass and creating a map, and then using them to go exploring and find our way back home. I really do like the compass quite a bit. I just put it in position nine there. You don't have to hold it in your hand. You could put it in anywhere on your toolbar there and you'll be able to follow it back home no matter how far away you go. The map you have to kind of keep making it bigger and bigger. But hopefully that tutorial was helpful for you on navigation, the compass, and the map.